What's up everyone? Battle of the West tonight, Para vs Penrith at Penrith, my hometown. And yeah, tonight I'm the enemy. So let's go. Uh, should be a good crowd. Sold out at Blue Bet Stadium, just around the corner. So about to get my ride to the game. And yeah, let's hopefully it's gonna be a close game. I hate would to be a blowout, but Let's go. Let's go, boys. Eels. Look at this. Walking around in, in Paragui in Penrith. So, yeah. Let's see how many how many fans come out. See how many fans are leaving early. I won't be. Let's see if I can get some boys on here. Um, yeah. Let's get it. Let's go. See us at the game. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, epic win by the Eels out at Panrith Stadium. Uh, 21,000 I think it was in attendance. Um, but yeah, boys played good. I got told many a times to go home, but I live in Panrith, so it's kind of good. Uh, key moment of the game, I feel like, was the matter try. Um, Guffo, if Cleary doesn't run out the line, Guffo steps back. Quick reaction by Guffo. A lot of 50-50 calls probably could have go either way. When Panthers scored after four minutes, I thought to myself, oh, here we go. Um, I called it to one of the guys sitting with me. Shout out to Adam. I uh, said in their first set of six on our line, I said, ready, fourth tackle if they don't score six again. And what happened on the fourth tackle, six again. Um, and then Edward scored, but full credit to the boys. They fought back, got back into the game. We've said it, we were saying it on the Talking Para podcast earlier in the week that the boys had this, this match was marked down from the 80th minute of that semi final. This was the match. The boys were up and they were going for this game. They had it marked down. We've dropped a couple of easy. Should have been wins. We saw the Cowboys game last week. Um, but yeah, it was epic win. Love to beat Penrith. For those that don't know, I live in Penrith. Penrith used to be my second team, and I used the word used. I used to go to Penrith games all the time, even if it wasn't against Para. Um, good night out at footy, but man, over the last couple of years, their fans have just gone to a different level. They just... I, I love you to death, guys, but wow, the amount of booing, and it's like, read a rule book. I had this one guy near me, he was yelling because one of their players was getting held down, they got the penalty, and then when they done it to us, they still booed. Um, but yeah, it was a good game of footy, semi-final atmosphere, 
and yeah, it was it was good to knock over both Penrith and be the only team this year to knock over both Penrith and Melbourne. So hopefully the boys can get up for Magic Round next week. Um, I think I'm going to air this video just before Magic Round. I'm still editing, so let's see when this video goes up, but it's probably already Magic Round. But let's just put it this way. If Eels play like that, they need to play like that every week. Um, yeah, this Maddo's energy off the bench the last couple of weeks has been ridiculous. Hopefully we sign him to a new contract. A uh, few errors in the game, stupid errors, stupid penalties from both teams. Good old Jamin Salmon, our old, old Eels boy helping Reed get across the line in a penalty try. Um, kind of backfired on him, holding Reed back is a bit of a joke. And then, yeah, we saw what happened. Uh, I feel like maybe there could have been Toto's try. Um, obviously, the kick out knock on led to a try. Penrith came back in the end. As we were sitting there a couple of minutes ago, Panthers fans were leaving. We were chanting para. And then we. As soon as, as soon as Spencer went over, we knew. It's all deja vu. For us Eels fans, you know what we do. We blow leads in the last couple of minutes. And then we looked at the clock. Minute 20, I think it was, to go. And we're like, they're going to punch a 40-meter field goal. And when it dropped short, the relief. But we probably could have got a penalty at the end there to send it to golden point for slow play to ball. But... That's the first time I've seen a ref blow time off for every single tackle. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully we get up against Roosters. Penrith got a tough ask against Melbourne. But, yeah, I'm tired. It's been a long day. Work, football, going to bed. So, see you as a pair of fans. But, before I go, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment your favorite moment of the game. Please, no hate. Kids watch this channel, so no swearing. Um, I know there's a few Penrith fans on my on my socials, and all love, guys. Like, Western Sydney, we've got to help each other out. I spoke to Penrith officials, and they are all about helping power out. We, vice versa, we might have hate, but at the end of the day, we are the West, both teams. Um, West Tigers, shout out to you guys as well. But I'm going to do a competition, guys. If you want to win, shout out to my man, Dylan Brown. Yeah, let me get some focus. Anyway, there you have it. If you want to win this signed Dylan Brown card, let me, is that better focus? If you want to win this Dylan Brown signed 2022 Traders, leave your favorite moment in the comments and yeah. Peace. Thanks for watching.